that probably was like break even eighty dollar ABI player online. I, that's where I would probably rank myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so there was scoop coming up. Um, I talked to Feda. We wanted to do rent a house, and we had this great house like outside of Vienna. And I told him I have a group of friends. They are not really good at poker, but really funny. And I think it would be a fun time um, if we rent this house and uh, grind the the scoop there. And so he was like, okay, sure. Um, we come up there, booked it for a week or something. I think we've played one poker session, one and a half maybe. And yeah. in this poker yeah. session, you have to imagine where there's this long table, like this like kind of like maybe 10 meter long table and everybody puts the laptop there and Fedor has his setup plays the 10k the 25k scoop and next to them just all of my of my my soccer friends who just like play five dollar tournament ten dollar tournament with like 30 runners on on winter day like really small and so like every bad beat they completely lose it every win they celebrate as if they like it was it was so loud. It was just like in Feta playing the super high stakes next to it, and Hage just like this one of the guys just completely losing it, losing a, a, a an all in the three dollar tournament. And we just had a great time. It was it was just like okay, that's amazing. And the idea was kind of how cool would that be if we could do that more often? It was just like maybe eight eight to ten guys. Yeah. Um, if that could be our life because at this point i was i, I consider myself professional but maybe didn't make that much money with it um all the other guys were like maybe has a few little money or broke or like an, around that area right. and so we thought about okay let's make that more often and uh, in the summer there was a long lockdown period in austria so we rented a house and the idea was basically uh, for poker code to be like the the brand over it they they rent it they film it and just show what happens if you have uh eight eight guys in the house what year was that exactly when did you guys do that 2020 so and then you, so you did it in 2020 and then 2021 you hit the scoop the score on scoop you won it the main event insane like wow. we had two two months there we started quite a bit but also not too crazy like it's not we just like started down and like there it was just we we played a lot of other games we went to the lake we like did normal summer stuff it was nothing too crazy but it just showed me showed us the rhythm of okay what what we do we have to study what do we need to focus on like what routines how do we have to think about the game in that two two month period was just basically for us to start okay how do we get into um the game and how to fuel the game in the right way what big mistakes we should avoid and like what is what what does matthias make good what does fader did good and both are at the highest level at that point already so it's quite easy for them to show us um how to do it um and then we had a little bit success one of our guys got second in a bracelet event during that time with like five percent of his action in this arena doll tournament or something yeah and after that it was insane like after this, I, I, September 2020, when the grinders ended, um, we have a graph there was just like straight up. It was crazy. All of the guys are now professional. They have um, all living from that. And and what do you attribute that to specifically? I mean, is it is it the the dedication of the craft? Are you guys doing like deep dive, deep dive solver work? Is it just so efficient when you have a tricky spot or an interesting thing that you get the feedback from the best and then you all kind of like, craft it like to, to your own tailoring like how how why do you think that's so effective and, and different would it have been different you think if you had just studied and, and done like poker code or raise your edge or a course mm-hmm. online like, how much difference is it and why is it different i think you ha- like if you know the guys i'm talking about it's not like we're computer science it's like we're average guys um we like the game a lot everybody loves the game um they're all sharp guys nothing too crazy um and we just really are very very passionate about it um what makes the difference i think is it was always kind of like i learned a lot from talking to fedor directly about the game and i learned about a lot to talking to all the other guys teaching what i 
already know and what I learned and how I see it, it's basically like this, like you want to talk with someone that's uh, way better than you and with someone that is not on the same level and maybe even a complete beginner because it makes yourself to rethink the process over and over again. And if you cannot really explain your thoughts to someone that is not as good yet, then maybe you don't really understand it uh, that well already. And I think this constant loop of um, where, and also th like having an anchor of like, okay, this is achievable. Failure is not, he's obviously super good, but he's not out of reach. Um, and for the, all my other friends, I was not out of reach. And so it kind of got, got a dynamic where um, everybody believed that and everybody understood that, okay, Matthias and Fedor said this is the right path and we just do it and do it for a while. It started from the day one, I think it ended day one at um, fourth in chips and then came to the five, final table and like fifth in chips. And the crazy part was after day one, um, I kept winning some hands. And then it was the area from like 20 left to 15 left, where it's like 14 are paid. And I was sitting on the table with um, Dan Smith, Danny Tang, uh, Haralabos Vulgaris, mm -hmm. um, Elton, and it was with 14 left, and it was just like the most fun experience ever. Bob had his 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 uh, dog Oscar there, yeah. and was just like chatting, and it felt it really felt like a home game, and it absolutely didn't like it. Like it was by far the biggest biggest stakes I've ever played. Like, what's that like to battle with a, a friend, one of your close friends, who also like is sort of like in a way your coach, right? You come into poker yeah. code, you kind of yeah. learn tricks and, and study together. How does that to battle, and how does it feel to knock him out in that moment? I, I mean, I'm quite competitive, at, so he's he, so it's it's even more uh, okay. We just play hard against each other, um, and it's always something where like you don't want to have the thing. Okay, like their friends, they don't battle each other so yeah you kind of go extra hard which like hurts yourself as well um but that's kind of the like we just played yeah. out and the way i busted him was was totally standard um yeah so i, I actually i like that part playing against right. uh, friends because uh, they know me really well i know them really well I know how to think and then it's just like okay what does he think that i think so that's quite an advertisement here matthias getting his uh he's always wearing that that uh custom green or uh, orange logo yes. hoodie i know where to find him and, and where he's at in every tournament that's him but what i mean talk a little bit about him and how his game is because he's he's I, I mean he must have 30 40 50 million earnings i have to look but he's mm -hmm. he's like crushing and playing and seems to win on all stops all the time he's he's uh oh, i mean how, how good is he how good is matthias Matthias is a yes. freak. He like he's the guy that sits down and just like how okay, I'll tell you a little bit background of Matthias. Matthias used to play uh sit and goes for Supernova Elite. And he was multi-tabling. He's an absolute grind machine and very, very detail-oriented. Like he has this drive, he wants to make it perfect. So he was playing sit and goes, and he had he told, he told a story about how he optimizes his sleep so he completes the supernova elite in like three weeks in january that was his goal just play so much that like before january ends he already has supernova elite uh and the way he did it he was he was playing slept for 90 minutes played again slept for 90 minutes played again that's how like he's he's he he didn't have like a long sleep through but like just like this constant power naps and that's how he is and then um stars changed the system so he kind of was out of a job at suddenly and he was like the closest thing that now is available like i guess playing tournaments and also very special how he just didn't just start playing he didn't play a single hand of poker for seven months sat down i was like okay what do i need to study preflop solved everything preflop it was right before we had gto wizard preflop ranges solved everything um solved a ton for post flop and then just started three months of pre-flop four months of uh, post flop and jumped right into the super high rollers and if if matthias says he studies he means getting up at eight in the morning and going to bed at 10 and studying for 10 to 14 hours again you didn't have to wait long how many days later was this where you got to win it's a big one 718 yeah. plus the bounties that which the mystery bounty, which I guess what was your biggest mystery bounty? 
Um, I think a hundred. Um, it, it's it's not that steep on on Triton, so it's like it's eighty k value, and the lowest one is forty k, and the bi biggest one is four hundred k. So it's, okay. the variance is not that crazy from the bounties. Um, I think it was eight forty in EV for the ten bounties, um, but like the, the the guy before me, he put like the 400, 200, 100. He won three, had three bounties, 240k value, and pulled out 700k. So wow. assuming that, I or I I ran uh, above EV when it was my turn. Well, so what? Um, what he got? What place did he get? It just doesn't show. Like because that he means he got like, yeah. Oh wow. He got ninth. So he got ninth, but he's gonna get like more than second. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, he pulled the 30. 400, 200, and got eight and a hundred, I think, and got eighth place finish. Wow.